Hello, Grace. Good morning. I should I should rather say um uh much much no no no. No, the machirone. The machirone. Ah, the machirone was afternoon. Yes, That's morning. yes, the machirone. Yes. Yeah, machirone habur. Yeah. Guys, yes. we we've got uh, eleven uh, official languages in South Africa, and I'm I'm busy learning. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll help you. Thank you. Uh, I I should say I should say nialebo 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 yes. yeah okay thank you Chris I have a few questions for you so I mean I'd, I'd love the audience to get to know you a little bit before you give us an amazing talk and so on but I want them to know you just at a little bit of a personal level. Uh, so I've got a few questions, if you don't mind. So the first question is, uh, what is the best and worst purchase you've ever made? I know that ladies love shopping, they love buying things. So, so I'd love to know what's the best thing you've ever bought and the worst thing as well. The best thing that I ever for, bought is um, a cell phone, okay. which I love so much. And uh, I use it all the time. But the worst thing that I ever bought is uh, the outfit, which I wore it once. <laughs> And I never wore it again. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of ladies can identify with that one. Eh? Yes. Yeah. And then the second question is, uh, what makes you angry? Um, what makes me angry is, uh, I'll be honest, uh, is a, a person who doesn't have integrity. Yes. Uh, that disappoints me a lot, a yeah. lot, and I get angry. Yeah. And um, yeah, for those people who work with me, or, and also for um, my family, they would yes. know that um, a person without integrity yeah. is a little bit of a challenge for me. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I like that. So you guys got that, right? You guys are business owners, you're running businesses. If you want to do business with Sassol, integrity is key. But with anyone, not just Sassol. Okay? Yes. Um, and then what's the most interesting thing that you've read or seen this week, that you've learned this week? Yeah. The most interesting thing that I've uh, learned this week, um, obviously I'm still um, getting over the sauna um, yeah. of, uh, of last week. Yeah. And um, I, so when I was preparing for uh, this um, um, speech, um, I had to uh, dig a little bit deeper just to understand um, uh, the digital transformation for IR. I must be honest with you, um, we, look, we sit back and think that the companies are not advancing mm. in this particular space. And when I read some of the companies who are already far advanced, in terms of these uh, solutions, uh, you realize that um, it's quite interesting and we can learn a lot uh, from some of the, the people. Okay, yes. I like that. And then uh, just the last question, okay, maybe not the last one, but what takes up a lot of your time but it is totally worth it? Sorry? What takes up a lot of your time but it's totally worth it? So what, what is okay. so important to you? Yes, what is, what is important for, uh, to me, which, um, I'll, can I just answer? Yes. Uh, let's say not once but twice. No, that's um, what takes most of most of my time and is worth it is when I uh, deliver on the promise, whether it's work-wise as well as um, uh, private life. And um, when I deliver that, at the end, I feel fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And that takes most of my time because um, until I see the end of that, I don't get fulfilled. So that is one of the things that I, I'm proud of. And um, it takes most of my time because until I get to the solution, mm -hmm. um, I don't get tired. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I like that. Okay. And um, just, just the last question, it's, and it's about Sassol, about your career at Sassol. Maybe tell us a little bit when you started at Sassol, why Sassol, uh, what you love about the organization, what you love about your portfolio, and, and so forth. So I started um, at Sassol 22 years ago. I think it's 23 now. And um, I'm actually an accountant uh, by profession. So I used to sit behind the computer crunching numbers. And then I got tired and I said, I'm not, I need to be a customer facing or mm -hmm. supplier facing. And then I moved, moved into the supply chain um, space and I grew throughout the ranks until I get this position of the SVP. The one thing that I like about Sasol, you get an, as an employee, you get an opportunity to learn the various environments. Mm -hmm. You can grow internally within the company. It gives that opportunity to the individuals or the employees. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, um, we also give an opportunity to the people to be innovative and creative. Mm -hmm. And um, we encourage our people all the time, together with the stakeholders that we engage with, to be innovative and also um, to find better ways of doing things. So, so that is one thing that I like about the company. And obviously, Sasol is big, I mean, globally and also locally here. And uh, it gives you the opportunity to understand the other global uh, countries, um, the other countries out there, what, what they're doing, 
Uh, what are they focusing on? Mm. How do you need to interact with those companies or with, the, with those countries um, to learn about other cultures as well? Yeah. That is like one of that. the things that okay. we are, uh, um, or should I call it, um, blessed with. Yeah, yes. awesome. Let's give Grace a round of applause. And then while we do that, before we start, I just want to play a video. Um, and then Grace, after the video, then maybe you can get into your awesome talk that we're looking forward to. Sasol's impactful and transformative enterprise and development program invited 150 delegates drawn from Sasol Fenceline community businesses to participate in the two-day Sasol inaugural construction masterclass, enabling them to capacitate their small and medium civils and construction enterprises to compete effectively in the mainstream economy. How did the whole concept of Masterclass come about? It came about from the fact that we had people that had submitted for a Sasol tender that was held in Sasol Bank. We had about 100 responses and only 10 people could get opportunities. So we felt there is a need for us to reach out to the companies that were not able to receive some opportunities and make sure that they also have received something from Sasso by way of development and um, we thought that it is best to get industry people to actually share their knowledge so that people can use it for their own businesses. So this is just the beginning. Um, um, we have taken a decision that in the construction this we are going to hold uh, these master classes but going forward we will look at other categories as well and arrange the similar type of uh, master classes because uh, the, the, the intent at the end is to make sure that all the entrepreneurs that want to do business with us or who are residing in the areas where we operate, they understand before they go into a specific type of a business, they need to understand what it entails, what they need to do, what should be the setup and what kind of support they can get, not only from Sasol, but from the other corporates as well. So the request was really to focus on new technologies. You know, what's coming, what does the future look like? Um, obviously CSR is, is around technology. Um, we're not uh, economists um, or futurists. Uh, so it was, what are, what are the new emerging trends? And that's perfect because that's really the, the work that I do. Kolosa Madikizela's impactful advice on construction economics focused strongly on controlling the negative aspects of ineffective management of costs during construction and was well received. What I would encourage a small business to not give up, obviously, because it does get lumpy. So they will get to a point where the pipeline is, is dwindling and they're thinking about how do they survive as a business? Do they retrench? Do they do this? So they should try and look at what are the other avenues that they can find work related to the construction that how can they repurpose their products so that they are still find sustainability for example. The inspiring success story of Sasol's journey with Kawija Engineering and Construction was frankly and openly shared by Temba Mabuza. It's a success story because of the role that Sasol play in the creation of Kawija. For those Sasol suppliers that were SMMEs or ISMMEs it's important that you consider actually committing to a longer relationship. Having a marketing or automated sales and marketing machine will not only help you increase your customers, it will also help you increase the value of the purchases from the customers because they, they trust you. You know, when customers trust you, they actually buy more from you. And if you continue to nurture those existing leads, they'll actually buy more from you. The all-important costing issue made JCNP's Van Heerden Botas closing for the first day a thought-provoking talking point, providing detail on effective costing for particular projects. With a wide range of speakers and topics to inspire and motivate delegates, day two opened with an overview on construction safety. We made it clear that there are certain things that make life a bit difficult for smaller businesses to transact with Sasol, and we are committed to making sure that we fix the basics. So this is part of our process of fixing the basics. We're trying to make sure that 
uh, we give people access to information. You know that uh, access to information is one of the many barriers that businesses uh, go through. I think for me, what is important to, to take out from today's session is that uh, in terms of innovation, I want to stress that point because we should be moving ahead with times and we should, we should adapt to the technology that is being introduced, digitalization, and how we can become more innovative as small businesses to, to solve the problems that South Africa has. The wide spectrum of topics and speakers created an excellent networking opportunity. The workshop from an information point of view, I think it was very good. I mean, uh, we got a lot from Llewellyn, who was uh, uh, talking from the CSIR perspective, talking about new technologies that can be used in the, in the build process. Uh, I found that quite informative and in fact we will be following up a lot more of the, on, on, on that perspective. From the information that we got here, I think we need to, as contractors, we need, we, 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 we need to like go and do our homework in terms of uh, training and developing our staff as well so that uh, it, whenever we are called in, maybe for social interviews or maybe for audits and everything, we are, we are well positioned and we are, we are well prepared to, to do everything so that we, we, we can be able to become prospective as suppliers for, for, for big companies like Sasol and other companies as well. Enabling Sasol to ensure that an informed, active and growing SMME base is empowered to advance transformation, local content and socio-economic development through committed and fostered partnerships. to take this um, opportunity uh, to thank each and every person who came here today. We know that uh, you have got a number of activities that you are bombarded with in, within your organization. But obviously, to find time to come here today uh, so that collectively and also um, we can engage. And your contribution, we value that a lot because through teamwork and collaboration, we can craft the way forward with regards to um, uh, changing the lives of our people as well as changing the lives of ev everyone and the community where we operate. To all the speakers and also the presenters, thank you so much again, once again, for accommodating us on, this, um, uh, on your busy schedules. We appreciate your generosity in sharing your knowledge, expertise, and experience. To the Sasol colleagues, as they said, as, uh, again, I heard it last week in the, uh, uh, in the sauna, 
Let us say it in the political world, all protocols observed. <laughs> so just to give you a little bit of a background in terms of SASOL, what we are focusing on. For those people who have been engaging with SASOL for a number of years, you will realize that the, our energy as well as our focus now has changed. We are focusing on the inclusive business. What does that mean? We are committed to strive towards transformed, sustainable, as well as high-performing supplier base. What does that mean? It means we will support the SMMEs both within and also outside our supply chain. We realize that this problem or this challenge is huge. It's not a challenge that can only be solved by SASOL. We need to partner with all the other corporates and also the other domestic se sectors to solve the problems that we are sitting with. And that is the reason why we took a decision that we are going to hold these masterclasses which are going to be um, industry tailored to factor or to address all those issues that are facing our people or our, our, our companies. Today we took a decision that we are going to invite all the SMMEs in the engineering as well as the industry or call it ICT industry to participate in this masterclass. And we were clear on, and we are clear in terms of the theme of today. We said the theme of today is embracing digital future, the impact of 4IR in engineering and IT. What are we going to do? We will explore the main pillars of 4IR, we will, meaning that showcase industry innovations. Some of the people said we would like to see and hear about innovations, new, new technologies, and also research that, uh, that is likely to disrupt the engineering as well as the, the ICT industry. You will then ask, why digital? Why digital masterclass? Why didn't you go and say, okay, look at electrical masterclass? I think we can all agree and accept that it is important that each and every business, no matter how small you are, you need to continuously scan the technology landscape. You always need to attend workshops like this, which you will give you an opportunity to learn about the new technologies that are up and coming in your environment. Obviously, the technologies provide risks as well as um, opportunities for the business. You will find some of the businesses who will lag behind and therefore the risks will be the new entrants may leapfrog your business or the industry peers can, can have a competitive edge over your business. Therefore, what is the risk? If you do not adopt the technology, you become less competitive. Let's be honest with ourselves. If I can ask each and every person here and just ask a simple question, was your business, business or is your business impacted by a new technology that has been introduced? We will hear a number of answers of which some of them will say, I found myself being less competitive. I found my, my business lagging behind. I couldn't compete in the, in, the, in, in the market anymore. And that's the reason why I'm here today to learn more about this particular uh, topic. We have to embrace the change to survive. Change is here and we have to embrace it. And what does that mean? B businesses people or business people must read competitive drivers. You need to understand your business. What are the drivers that are um, um, making your, your, your business tick? Identify and also respond um, what makes your business sustainable. You must have to, you have to respond to those, those things that makes your, your business to be sustainable. In terms of SASOL, if I can share with you some of the things that we have done. We took a decision that we want to embed the environment or the culture of continuous improvement. If I say to you the culture of continuous improvement, continuously improve the way of doing things, the way our products should look like continuously. And we identify digital as the biggest enabler of continuous improvement. And you would understand that without digital solution, you will not continuously improve. And obviously, this will give us an opportunity uh, to leapfrog our competition. And also, it will give us an opportunity to create growth for Sasol as, as well as our people. We have established the digital office in our environment. And this digital office, obviously, it will deliver, it will help the, the, the various OMEs or the various um, uh, uh, entities in terms of creating awareness as well as um, looking at the training that is required by the people to embrace 
um, uh, the digital that we are sitting with. And also to fast track some of the digital solutions that we have identified or digital initiative, initiatives that we have identified, which will take us uh, further in terms of our enabling our strategy. What kind of environment do we want to create in, within SASO? And obviously with the stakeholders that we are doing business with. We want to create environment where we will be surrounded by creative thinkers, the pro problem solvers, and team players, and people who will co-create. So we will sit down with you today's session, for example, or to the next three days session, is a session which gives us an opportunity to co-create some of the solutions that are required. You might not have a knowledge today, you might not have all the expertise today, but obviously after the listening to all the speakers, by the end of today, you'll be, or by the end of the, these three days, you'll be going away with the information of which it will help you to solve some of the, of the problems that you are sitting with. You would also understand that we are sitting with a number of solutions. People, when, when you listen to the speakers of today, you will hear a number of topics. You will hear a number of things that are being introduced. I, I did say that I was reading and also listening to a number of people regarding the dis, digital solution, the 4IR. So you, we need to understand um, how the things like drones will affect us, things like 3D printings. How, how is that going to affect our supply chain going forward? How is it going to affect, affect the manufacturing sector going forward? And machine learning, how is, it, how is it going to affect our business going forward? And therefore it will change the workplace landscape as well as the business sector overall. If you look at transformation as a topic, um, let me just call it social economic transformation journey. In the past, we used to focus on big contracts, like big contracts, we would say, okay, we want to consolidate instead of doing business with uh, uh, maybe a thousand people or a thousand suppliers, we want to do business with only fewer. It's easier to manage and it's easier to, um, um, to control. But today we embrace small businesses because we realize that we are sitting with a challenge as South Africa and if we don't embrace small businesses, driving inclusive, inclusivity, inclusivity, sorry, my vendor is coming back, <laughs> through diversification of our supplier database, no one else is going to do that for us. So we intentionally identify opportunities to partner with all these small businesses, as well as if we cannot partner with them, we also identify opportunities where the bigger suppliers that we are doing business with and also those that we're not doing business with can, can partner with the smaller suppliers. You will see from the agenda of today that we have also invited the bigger suppliers who are actually uh, the pioneers in the, in, in the various landscape to partner with the small businesses and see how they can hand, hand roll them. This creates um, openness as well as transparency for the small business to participate in this particular environment. One of the things that we have done, we have taken a decision that we are going to um, establish, establish a digital platform or portal. You would say, okay, digital portal, we hear about the portals, number of portals all the time. Uh, what is it for? If I have to ask you today, do you, and do you know and understand all the opportunities that are within SASO? You would say, we don't have a visibility. We don't know. You don't know what opportunities are there so this platform or portal will give access or will give you an opportunity to know what kind of um, opportunities are coming up, what kind of RFQs are coming up, and therefore how you would then, um, uh, what do you call it, participate. And in addition to that, we took a decision that um, if you look at Sassel Bank, we've got um, um, the incubation facility. We realized that in our Secunda, around Secunda, we don't have a satellite office. And we are sitting with number of stakeholders. We are sitting with number of small businesses, um, individuals who would like to understand more about Sasol. So for Secunda, we are going to create a satellite office. A satellite office, which is a business center, business center, anyone can go in there, um, just to learn more about um, our systems, our processes, how you go about um, submitting your RFQs or RFPs, understanding more about what other opportunities are there, 
and also to get a little bit of a training in terms of how you must use the systems like Ariba when you submit your information to be registered as a vendor within the SASOL database. So those are some of the things that we are going to do within um, the, let's say, Secunda. And we are deliberate and we are not um, apologetic, um, actually. <laughs> My colleague Lebello will tell you that we are not, we are unapologetic about that. We said we are also going to focus on the communities where we operate. So if you look, Fenceland communities where we operate, Secunda and Sasselbeck, we need to change lives in those areas. We have got big plans and therefore we have to make sure that we change lives in those particular areas. Not to say that we are not going to help the other people from other areas, but we are deliberate to say that we are going to focus on the, on the areas where we operate. So if you look at the three days that we have um, of this masterclass, you will have a series of speakers. And in the next two to three days, um, you will then have, I'm not going to share with you more of this information. Um, you will have an opportunity where uh, you'll be able to pitch your own business. And you will also have um, an opportunity where you'll be, you will engage with um, uh, big players or big companies. You will also get an opportunity to network with other small businesses because the idea here is not only to look for an opportunity from the big business, it's also to identify the quality ecosystem. If we can create that, us as Sasol and you, at the end of the day, we'll look back and say, we have arrived. So the ecosystem is one of the things that we want to create. And then in addition to that, we'll also cover aspects related to safety. Um, what are the key things and themes around safety which you need to, you need to take um, or uh, take that into consideration. So if you look at the various people and um, that we have invited, we have invited a number of um, social professionals, market leaders, industry experts, which, who will uh, actually engage with you and to provide you with uh, the insights and also to help you to navigate this challenge of um, and also become smarter and also be connected in terms of um, um, in this landscape that we're sitting with. In addition to that, in closing, like I said initially, the masterclass is one of the vehicles that we have created, which will give visibility of opportunities that may be available to entrepreneurs to explore also in the corporate sector as well as domestic sector. sector. And obviously, we have got a, a jam-packed agenda uh, or program, and I really hope that at the end of the day and or end of the three days of this masterclass, you will sit back and our goal of these sessions is that you will walk away with new knowledge and you'll be able to practically apply some of these learnings to your businesses for the insights you gain to yield tangible results for you as entrepreneurs, and also, most importantly, for your business as well as the community at large. So we are here together today in the next three days, and let's craft this journey together, and let's sit back one of these days and say, we have shaped this environment and we are proud of what we have created. So enjoy. Thank you.